The Reserve Bank of India's latest State of the Economy report has urged Indian corporations to ramp up their capital expenditure, leveraging the current lower borrowing costs and thereby easing the burden on government. The government's reduction in borrowing program for the interim budget of FY25 has already led to lower cost of borrowing. The government plans to borrow 14.13 trillion rupees through dated securities in FY25. This is lower than the current financial year's gross borrowing estimate of 15.43 trillion rupees, which was the highest ever. The lower borrowing estimate for FY25 is on account of growing tax revenue and the government's resolve to meet its fiscal consolidation roadmap. The interim budget, although refrained from any populist measures, yet was reflective of the government's resolve to bring down the fiscal deficit. The fiscal deficit target for the upcoming financial year was trimmed by 70 basis points to 5.1% of the GDP. The target for FY26 is 4.5%. Experts say the centre's aim to rein in the fiscal deficit is well supported with the current CAPEX outlay. Capital expenditure outlay by the government for FY25 has been announced at 11.1 trillion rupees. That's 11% increase over previous year's budget announcement of 10 trillion rupees and a 16% increase over the revised estimates. This marks a significant slowdown in the pace of government spending on CAPEX. A leading Business Daily's calculations showed the government has consistently increased CAPEX spending at a CAGR of 26% for FY19-24. Meanwhile, a report by the Department of Economic Affairs noted that private CAPEX has grown at 8.5% CAGR between FY19 and FY23 to 6 trillion rupees. According to Avishek Gupta of Caspian Debt, the quality of private sector's balance sheets as well as the portfolio of lending institutions are in good shape. The potential stocks from consumer loan books also seem to be limited for the larger part of financial institutions. So, acceleration in private capex is likely. The Centre for Monitoring Indian Economy's data showed private capex saw signs of revival in the December quarter of this fiscal, up nearly 15% from the quarter before. But it was still lower than the same period a year ago. According to a leading financial daily, new projects worth 2.1 trillion rupees were announced in Q3 FY24, as against 9.5 trillion rupees in the previous year. Shishir Gupta of Center for Social and Economic Progress elaborates what's needed for the private sector to make up for the gap left by the government in terms of pace of CAPEX growth. For CAPEX to improve, we need to make Indian corporate sector globally competitive. 55 to 60 percent of India's exports are driven by corporate sector. And if we make Indian corporate sector more competitive, it will push India's trade share in global trade, which has which has been a meager two to two and a half percent over the last 10 years, to a higher number. Right? So, so the key is for India's co uh, corporate sector to become globally competitive so that our exports can rise. Uh, and as a result, their, their capex will increase. The RBI's report pointed out that selective sectors like oil, gas and chemicals are showing fixed asset growth, contrasting with underwhelming addition of fixed assets in steel and automobiles. Let's turn to economist Pronop Sen to understand which sectors will contribute more to capital formation and vice versa. At the moment, one of the reasons why private capex is not going to be happening is because of the coming election. So when you have elections, uh, there, there is uncertainty about what government will be there for the next five years. And you don't want to take CapEx decisions until you have a certain amount of confidence about who the government will be, what their policies will be, and so on. Okay? So until the election results are announced and the new government in place, uh, I would suspect that uh, private CapEx will be somewhat uh, muted. The really big issue is not so much the uh, corporate capex. It is the non-corporate private capex, which is not very responsive, which, which went down sharply and has just stayed down. So it is really the revival in the MSME capex that will make the difference. 
While the lower borrowing estimate and fiscal consolidation efforts are commendable, the private sector needs to step up its capital expenditure. Experts are optimistic, citing favorable balance sheets and lending institution portfolios. However, sectoral variations and political uncertainties could influence private CAPEX trajectory, making it crucial to monitor in the upcoming fiscal year. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. She has ambitions of becoming a brand. Business Standard